Hey everyone, Robin here. Um, I want to apologize because I couldn't do a deboxing. Uh, let me tell you uh, what happened. So I was away uh, in Winchester working on the um, images with my daughter. Um, she's the artist doing the images for uh, Death of Dulgath, Winter's Daughter, Crown Tower, and Rose and Thorn. And uh, Michael didn't realize that I was planning on doing a deboxing. So when I got home, uh, from Sarah's place, uh, it was already deboxed. Crap. So not couldn't do that. But I did want to share you guys share some things with you guys. So I hope this comes out okay. This this is um, the dra This is the proof of Drumendor. Isn't it lovely? It's a fancy back. We're really really happy with the ways these came out. Now. There were some problems. Number one is um, there's supposed to be a four color image on this end sheet, and there's supposed to be a four color image on this end sheet. And for some reason, um, that didn't happen. So the printer is making me a new set of proofs, and they're going to be shipping those out to me right away. Um, but I don't think that that is going to affect um, the shipping dates. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. We also gilded the edges of the book, which gives it this nice little, um, nice little aspect to it. Um, and it's Smith's own, so it lays nice and flat and, and all that type of stuff. There are, this is the opening of the book. This is the, the dedication. And then the, But you know what? I just realized. Ugh. I just realized um, that I don't have a good place for Michael to do the signing on here. Usually there's a. Ugh. I, I, I put this fancy little graphic in here because it's something the book designer gave me. And now I realized uh, there's not a good place for Michael to do his signing. So I'm going to have to make a little adjustment to this um, to provide a signing page for him. Good thing I looked, um, that's important to do. So I'll, I'll make that adjustment and get a new file off to the printer. Um, but I do wanna show you, um, this is what what the uh, chapter start looks like. And then there are, uh, this is like one of the pages that has one of the drawings from Michael's sketchbook in it. And this is, one of the drawings uh, that Sarah did. And here is the other one, up to that. And here's the one uh, that Sarah did. Uh, so the proof looks really good. I've seen a couple of things. Um, there's a couple of places where um, I don't have the title on the top page here, like where the pictures are. So I need to be adding that. Um, I found a couple of pages where there were widows and orphans. Um, so I need to correct for that. Um, but the one thing I did see uh, that concerned me a little bit, and I wasn't entirely sure what's happening with this. So, uh, and the best way to probably show it is if I get to the dedication page. One second. The way I set up the file is the margins on the left and the margins on the right are supposed to be uh, the same width. And um, when I and when I look here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell this, but it looks like we have a much wider amount here than we do here. Um, it's supposed to be uh, 0.635 which I can't remember what that dimension is. I think it might be a little bit over half an inch. So maybe uh, if half an inch is, is uh, four eighths, it might be five eighths or, or, or whatever. Um, but anyways, it was a little bit off. So when I arrived home on Monday, I went through this whole book and changed the margins uh, so that it shifted everything over. What I think might possibly be part of the problem because I've never done a gilded edged book before is I think they trim off 
a little more of the page. And so because the page is a little bit sh shorter than it normally is, it looks like the right margin is a little bit smaller than the left margin. Um, I talked to the printer and she also said it could also be a problem with when they did the folding of the proof, since that's done by hand rather than machine, um, they could have just had the folding a little bit off. Um, so I'm going to look through the book to see if like maybe the back of the book looks different than the front of the books, um, you know, from a signature standpoint. Um, but anyways, uh, the end result of that was, uh, from the time I got home from Sarah's place until 4.30 in the morning, I completely uh, moved all the pages in this book to be over a little bit so that when we get the second proof with the color end sheets, um, that will be taken care of. Um, the problem is it, uh, that meant I did an all-nighter and I worked the polling stations on Tuesday, which means as soon as I sent send on that file at 4.30 a.m., I had to go over to my polling station and set up all the equipment for the for the polling. And we worked until 10 o'clock at night. So I did an all-nighter. And then I worked from, uh, from 4.30 in the morning till 10 p.m. I came home and uh, passed out, which is why you see these, these very dark circles under my eyes. And, um, and, and so I couldn't unbox. So sorry. Uh, but I really, really, really liked the way it turned out. I love the feel of it. I, I love the way the spines look. I love the way um, the ribbed spines look. Um, I like the way the design came out it, it, and the, the paper with the gilding. It's all, it's all just very beautiful. So um, I am going to go uh, review this a little bit more. Um, there were a couple of slow periods during polling yesterday where I was able to flip through some of the book, um, but I gotta do some more proofing. Um, we are sending the money to the printer now in order to get in the print queue, even though we don't have uh, the four color end sheets in here um, because uh, she should be able to get me a new proof in something like 10 days. And I didn't wanna delay the printing for those 10 days. I'm sure once I get it, it'll be fine. And she can order the paper and do all that stuff as long as we have a signed contract and uh, a known quantity and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so we are going to be, uh, I assume within the next couple of days, we'll be officially in the print queue. And uh, that will let us know a little bit more about our shipping dates um, for this. But I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. And um I'm sorry I couldn't do an official unboxing, but Michael had it all unboxed before I got home. So anyways, that's today's update. And uh, I'm going to go do some more proofing of the book. And um, maybe when the second proof comes in, we can do an unboxing. That would be cool. So uh, once again, thank you all for your support. And um, I'm so glad um, that we finally got uh, the proofs in. And, and for the most part, they look great. And uh, it won't be long before we start having them and start shipping them out. So we're excited. Thank you. Bye-bye.